That's a guy's nice here if you want. Just to go play. Um, that's a zero video for me. Because it's Friday. So, as soon as you spawn in, you want to go this way. Left of the speaker. The outfitter and the new monarchy. And the new monarchy is such a good faction. I don't know why, but, you know, it's my opinion. So, let's see what he's brought for us today. There is something inside is... me. Oh, wow, wow. To connect. Fuck. First, it's the Eternal Warrior, which is a House of Wolves exotic for the Titan. 56 intellect, 75 discipline. More super energy from non guardian kills, replenish health when you pick up an orb, and provides unstoppable for Fist of Havoc. Second is the Bones of Aya, which is, I am really surprised about because, you know, he, sh he should be selling these. No matter what, it's, they're just too good. But yeah. Display 151, carry more armor of heavy weapons and upgrades double jump with an additional jump. And you can upgrade triple jump with an additional jump so you get a quad jump, which is just epic. Third, the Voifang investments. I don't really, I'm not really fond of these, but. Uh, strength 159. Enhanced axiom about spawn with grenade energy, carry more ammo for hand cannons, and carry more ammo for special weapons. The weapon this week is just the beast, the last word. It's so good. It's full auto and it's a hand cannon. How can you do this? But bonus damage and stability, extra precision damage when firing from the hip, which is glitched. So, like when you're aiming, it does precision damage anyway. And this weapon has bonus accuracy while firing from the hip. And he's bringing a chest angram and heavy ammo. 